I didn't like that one in four Australian children were overweight or obese, so I decided to change it. And the research showed that children from disadvantaged backgrounds were consuming more unhealthy food and drinks, and they were also more likely to be overweight or obese. If you drive through disadvantaged neighbourhoods, it's much harder to find healthy and affordable foods to provide for your family. A bottle of soft drink costs less than a bottle of water. Parents are finding it very hard to make healthy choices for their children when unhealthy food products are being marketed to their kids everywhere they turn. We can tell people, eat your fruit and vegetables, do some exercise, that's the key to a healthy life. But really, if we tell people that and then send them straight back to the environment that they've come from that's contributing to their overweight and obesity, it's very difficult for them to change. I didn't like the fact that one in ten people worldwide still don't have reliable access to safe water, so I decided to change it. The technology we're using is called riverbank filtration, or RBF. Riverbank filtration works by drawing river water through the riverbank sediment towards a well, and it's a natural process that removes bacteria and other contaminants. And although it needs an engineer to build and deliver, once it's in place, it's natural, it's regenerable, and it can remain in place and be operated by communities. The conditions they're living in are really difficult for us to understand. These are households that don't have running water, that don't have toilets. While we've delivered safe water, what we've found is many villagers don't want to drink the water because they feel like making any changes to their primary drinking water source will actually make them sick. Only by understanding that context can we really deliver the technology in a way that's going to be sustainable. That for me is the most important part of the research. The fact that we're actually connecting to people, understanding their context and trying to make a difference to them. If we can make it easier for people to eat well and be physically active by putting policies in place that change the environment, then we're giving people a much better chance of being healthy.